I know for many of you, meal planning can be intimidating, it can be a commitment, but that's okay. I am going to show you how I do it, how I keep it simple, and it also allows me to stay super consistent during the week because I know what I am eating and it helps me stay on plan. today because I am going to talk to you about meal planning specifically and this is really fun for me to do every single week I try to do it on Sundays as many of you know I already have a lot of items at my house and I also get a weekly delivery of fresh produce plus my garden and I have a lot in my pantry so I don't have to do it on a certain day because I'm going to the grocery store, but I do have to keep in mind the day of my delivery coming for my produce, see what's in my garden that's ready to harvest, and then go into my pantry and grab all of my remaining items. So come along today and let's talk meal planning and how I go about this in regards to start solution. All right, so for a meal planning for me, I like throughout the week, to put in my phone meals that I think about, or if I'm on social media and I look at something, I'm like, ooh, that would be really, really good. I haven't had that in a while. Or, hey, I wanna try that. I just take some notes in my note section on my iPhone, and one could be spaghetti, one could be a sushi bowl, or, or whatnot. And when doing this, it helps me then kind of articulate what kind of meals I want to pull out from my list that week based on what I have, based on what I'm hungry for, and so forth. And so once I have that part completed, then I start really looking at my journal and seeing, you know, what I need to plan for, what I need to prep, and what I need to actually prepare. My three Ps, if you don't know about the three Ps, it is in my journal that I have. If you want to purchase, I'll put a link below. It's really just an overview uh, year journal to really get you focused, to help you meal plan, to help you just really stay on track for starch solution. So when it comes to deciding what I'm gonna eat, I also have to say that I keep things pretty simple. Like I could eat veggie lavash bread like all week and I used to. Um, when I was in my like actual weight loss mode. Um, I also could have hash browns or potatoes with ketchup and broccoli all the time. I could have a sweet potato and broccoli all the time. But I also do like to kind of keep things a little exciting in my house, but if I'm going to make a soup, I'm probably gonna eat that soup two or three days for lunch or dinner and so to me, it's just less things that I actually have to prepare. Yes, it can be boring, but I enjoy consistency. I enjoy knowing what I'm gonna eat, and I also enjoy making a big pot of something and really just being able to eat it all week. It feels like kind of like an accomplishment. And many of you guys have said that you buy so many vegetables and then they either go to waste, you don't eat them. And so for me, I love to put all the food out or put it in my pantry from my pantry and really be able to see that I'm eating it throughout the week. And that that's like a really good thing for me to accomplish. If I have literally, I have my meal plan, I literally have eaten everything during the week and then I can start over fresh. All right, so I want to just show you or basically tell you what I wrote down on my list and I'm literally in the planning phase so you are here with me. So I wrote down lavash, sushi bowl, rice and steamed vegetables, um, I'm gonna make a chickpea tuna with you know an, a cold lettuce, 
I'm going to be making a soup. So I'll have a soup with probably steamed or roasted vegetables. Um, a few snacks that I may have on hand are some canned pears, some rice cakes, and some dates. Then I'm gonna have some like mashed potatoes and carrots with some steamed vegetables or a salad. And then I'm gonna do like rice and beans with tortilla and salsa. Um, I may do some hash browns with broccoli and then of course overnight oats since I always have overnight oats. So that's literally what I wrote down. And so now I'm going to actually map it out from starting Monday morning all the way through Sunday. You know, what, will, what I'll make fresh, what I'll have leftovers, what I'll prep and what I'll have available. And I also make bread. So if I'm gonna do my chickpea tuna, I need to make sure whatever day I have it that I have fresh bread. Just, I love fresh bread and I don't like it a few days old. If I have it a few days old, I like to toast it. And so that day I may um, toast it and put some hummus on it as a snack with some vegetables on top or something like that. So I'm just kind of walking you through how I go about this because I do think it's important to have a plan and know what you are craving so that you can be satisfied eating this way. So let's dig in and talk about what I'm gonna have <laughs> Monday through Sunday. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. I appreciate you being here. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love a thumbs up. Also, maybe comment below on if you're inspired to maybe meal plan or start meal planning or really be laser focused about meal planning. Also, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this coming your way. All right, so I have my journal out here, and so I'm just gonna kind of walk through uh, looking at my notes on my computer from my phone and then just building out um, the plan. So based on what I had told you, I'm just kind of like saying, okay, my chickpea tuna and possibly the sandwich and the soup and the salad that I'm gonna have with that is gonna be on Wednesday night. I also have to think about like, I wanted, to, I'm gonna have a sushi bowl, but I'm not gonna have my fresh cucumbers until probably Wednesday, my delivery. So I'll probably do that on Thursday. So I'll have that all ready to go. So the things that I do need to prep this weekend today is going to be my chickpea tuna and mayo, my hummus for the week always make hummus. I always make a soup, so I'm gonna make a soup, and then I'm gonna steam and roast my potatoes. I'm gonna roast my sweet potatoes, and I'm gonna steam my other potatoes just to have those on hand because I eat potatoes as a snack, and um, now that I'm talking about it, I'm gonna have um, like hash browns one of the nights. So I'll probably just um, do my little boat hash browns, which will be great. So I'm gonna do overnight oats, really probably the first three days. And then I'll probably do a sweet potato on Thursday and then Friday do hash browns. So I'm gonna write that down. And for me, because I know that I'm getting fresh produce on Wednesday, my Monday and Tuesday will be mostly like steamed vegetables or anything that I have in my fridge that I need to finish out. So I have my breakfast planned at least for five days. And then on Friday, I'll make overnight oats for Saturday and Sunday. Or I'll have my banana pancakes or something like that. But definitely planning my Monday through Friday right now. And then Monday, so I have all my breakfasts planned out. And now for Monday lunch, that is going to be, I'm gonna do a chickpea tuna and a salad, so. I'll have fresh bread tomorrow morning. Then for dinner, I am going 
to make, my husband probably is not going to be home, so I'm gonna make something that I know that he probably wouldn't enjoy. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna actually have my soup and rice or potatoes. I may have soup and potatoes. These are the things you gotta decide. <laughs> I mean, you can change it up, but I like to have like a definite plan so I know how many like potatoes to steam and I usually make my rice fresh in my rice cooker because it like takes no time and I, I prefer fresh, fresh, fresh. So I'm probably gonna do soup and because I'm having bread for lunch with my chickpea, I am going to do a soup plus a salad plus steamed vegetables. And then on Tuesday, overnight oats, I'm gonna have my lavash that I always make and then I'm gonna do a taco night. So that goes back to, I'm going to do my rice and beans with the tortilla and salsa. So I'll have that planned, so that's Tuesday. Wednesday is gonna be overnight oats again. Breakfast is up in the air, so, or I'm gonna have overnight oats for breakfast. Lunch is up in the air. So I'm going to possibly have, you can tell that I'm having like a lot of soup and the chickpea tuna because those are like the base things that I'm actually making. So for lunch that day, I'm gonna do steamed potatoes and broccoli. Okay, and then for dinner that night, I'm gonna have soup and then the chickpea tuna sandwich with a salad. And you can tell I'm saying salad, 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 because I'm in winter mode and I have a lot of salad, I should say a lot of lettuce in my garden to have the salad. All right, then Thursday, my sweet potato and broccoli and possibly a banana on my sweet potato because I love it and a little bit of cinnamon on top. So that's what I'm gonna have there. All right, let's look, let's review this list of what else I need to um, do. So I'm probably going to, have, for lunch that day, I'm gonna have rice and um, veggies, steamed veggies, because I love it. And then for dinner that night, I'm gonna make mashed potatoes. I'm going to have carrots and probably some like green beans and I'm going to make some yummy gravy. And I'm really excited for this meal because I already have canned potatoes from my garden. So that's going to be pretty, pretty amazing. So I'm going to do my mashed potatoes and I'm going to put canned veggies because I'm going to use all of them from the garden that I can this year. All right, we're on to Friday. So Friday's going to be my hash browns and veggies. So what I'm going to do for that, because I know my fresh order is getting like peppers and onions and things like that. So I'll cut all that up and then I will mix that together with my hash browns and air fry it. So for lunch, now we're getting down to like the final, like what did I want to eat? and so forth. So I already did my lavash. I didn't do a sushi bowl yet. So I thought I was gonna do that on Thursday, but I'm gonna do it on Friday now. So I'm gonna do a sushi bowl plus broccoli. All right, if I'm looking up, you can, you know that I'm looking it up. So I already did my lavash once. I'm doing my sushi bowl, I already did that, steamed rice and veggies, my chickpea tuna, I got my soup. So Friday night probably should be like a leftover of probably soup and 
lavash because I'm gonna, I freeze my lavash um, flatbreads in two or threes. And so I will definitely need to like eat the flatbreads throughout the week. So I'll have two and then I'll make one for my husband, which will be good. So I'm gonna do soup and lavash. All right, so I have my Monday through Friday planned out. So I know I originally said I'm gonna plan it out through uh, Saturday, Sunday, but at this point, I'm probably just gonna need to be eating leftovers or I will fall back onto more soup, more chickpea tuna or rice and steamed vegetables. So the reason I wanna say rice and steamed vegetables and a salad is literally one of my go-to meals I, like rice is so easy for me to make. I always have my frozen steamed vegetables that I can steam. I always have my steamed vegetables because they're frozen. So that's like super convenient. And then I can always make like cold salad. So I like to put like the rice, I like to put the steamed vegetables and then my cold salad. And people ask me like all the time, what do you use for dressing? And I literally use like balsamic, vinaigrette, Dijon mustard, coconut and aminos, not together, but like those kind of things. So that's what I have planned. So I'm going to take you out into my pantry and we're just gonna gather any items that I am going to need for the week. And then it's gonna just be in my house, ready for me to um, use this week. So in this case, I know I'm gonna eat a lot of broccoli, so I need to probably go out to my freezer and grab another container of broccoli and bring it in the house. So that's what I'm that's what I'm saying when I'm when I'm planning and prepping. The prep is like I'm also cutting vegetables and things like that, but I'm also like gathering all the items so that they're in my kitchen and ready to go. So stay tuned for the next video. It will be what is in my pantry and what I need to gather to really be able to prep for the week. So we just did the planning here. Now we need to prep and make sure we have all the items. And of course, I'm not gonna have all the items because some of my stuff is coming on Wednesday, but you will understand my process through all of this. Until next time.